So balance can be discouraging, but honestly, that's not my, I don't have any hang up whatsoever with balance. There's not a problem in a binary plan with balance. If I had somebody who had a leg of 10,000 and a week in volume on the left, I'd say, hey, Mr. Crybaby, go out and build your right side to make some money. Go get paid. And if you're not going to do it, if you're not going to follow our, our, our training and, and, and coaching on how to do that, it's your, bit, it's your issue. Don't complain about the balance. That's not an issue in the binary. Never has been, never will be. The big issue, in, in my opinion, this is, and this is big, this is big, it's these legs, it's these lines. Um, this is where it gets really hairy because let's say you have this power leg and the power leg goes down you know, two, three hundred people. And you're up here at the top. You're like one of these first 20 people up here at the top, and your sponsors put you in to the power leg, and you're getting all this benefit from volume on the left-hand side. You go out, and you start building a power leg, just like this third distributor here is built on the right-hand side. And you say, hey, this is great. All i got to do is build one single solitary leg, and I'm getting paid for two. My sponsor built it for me. The problem is, again, remember when I talked about the matrix plan? Whenever you create an incentive system that's not fair, it, it can be a problem. One guy gets at the top of a power leg and, and the sponsor builds it to the moon. Another guy gets placed not here in the other power leg, but gets placed off of the left-hand side of the power leg's power leg. Now they're kind of isolated on their own. They have to pretty much build both sides of their leg because this guy's not going to build a power leg. He may be the person who just doesn't build much. He's not much of a leader. Meanwhile, this guy's bypassing him going down here building this big leg. This person right here is totally isolated away from the group. Okay, if you can see that's kind of difficult because I got so much so much highlight here that we can't see it. But this person might be isolated. They might not have a lot of help. So they have to go out and build both of their legs. No power leg for that individual. They got to do it on their own. Now that's no problem other than you know because I, I didn't get any help in building my current business. You know, I built it all, you know, pretty much myself. Got a little bit of help here and there, but I didn't get placements down line and stuff like that. But here's the point. Um, when you go talking about it on a conference call and a training about power legs and power lines and how much a benefit they are, it, it gets really discouraging because these people say, well, I'm not in a power leg or power line. You know, I don't get any advantage of that. I'm off to the left-hand side. They're building the right. I'm off to the left. So in a binary, you're splitting left and right, left and right, all the way down, and you're, you're going to get just as many people isolated as you do in the power line. So you, like half the business is complaining about not getting support and the other half of the business is, is jumping up and down excited about all the support and you've created an unfair scenario. That, in my opinion, is one of the biggest problems. The second biggest problem is the idea of how do you limit how much commission you can make in a compensation plan. In a binary plan, it's not based on levels. You don't get paid on levels. You get paid on volume. You go down here. Let's say this binary plan. Let's let's get me a, a pen out here, um, so I can I can do this better. This this side of the plan. Let's say you can do five thousand dollars. Okay, five k per 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 month. Okay, in volume or let's say per week. Five thousand dollars per week per leg. Same thing on this side. You can do five thousand dollars per leg per week on this side as well, and and then it maxes out. So you know twenty thousand, twenty five thousand dollars per month per leg per week maxes out, and then at that point you have to you 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 cannot get paid past this point. So let's say let's say you're in a unilevel plan. Let's say that you achieve full time income in a unilevel plan, and you're your founders come to you and say, hey, congratulations, Harry, for achieving this top rank. We are so very proud of you, and we're going to send you to uh, Tahiti for your trip um, with, with your spouse. Uh, way to go. By the way, the way our compensation plan works is once you have reached this full-time income, you can't earn anything past that full-time income. You have to come back into the compensation plan with a re-entry certificate. You actually have to come in and put a re-entry down below down here you know where, wherever you choose to put it and start building again you have to recreate momentum and start building your, your next you know legs down here uh, because you can't earn any more from the positions that you already made that to me is a huge disadvantage now 
w one of the things that compensation plans have done in the binary plan is instead of limiting it to five thousand dollars per leg per week like some of the traditional binaries they're starting to do what are called cycling binaries that allow you to earn many many times that it's up to you know twenty and twenty five thousand dollars per leg per week in volume where you're basically getting up into the high six figure incomes before you're getting capped off and you have to start putting in your reentry certificates and that's a lot fairer for people but it's still capping um, in a unilevel type plan you don't have the cap you could have three legs that you originally started three legs that continue to grow and grow and grow and you continue to increase your income indefinitely you never get cut off because it continues to grow and expand and widen out and even though you get paid on so many generations the width keeps continuing to build off of those same three legs. There's no capping of volume. It's capping of levels or generations. So, you know, there's advantages and disadvantages to both, but I really found that to be one of the disadvantages to the, the binary plan. At the same time, there are people making tremendous weekly incomes, and they do generally get paid weekly in the binary plan um, in, in some of these newer plans, especially some of the cyclers. And then finally, um, one of the things uh, you have to watch out for in a binary plan is some of the plans actually can cause uh, the, the company to pay out too much. There's a phenomenon that was identified originally. I, I got this information from Len Clements, who's a network marketing consultant, and he talked about this phenomenon called binary creep, which um, it's kind of like a scales of economy. When a binary plan advances and it starts having more volume, more distributors, the math doesn't work anymore on these new plans, on these cycling plans, and all of a sudden they have to take a plan that they said, oh, you can do $100,000 volume per leg per week, and they say, oh, sorry, we're changing the compensation plan, now you can only do 20000 And when that happens, it's kind of like what I tell people, you cannot change a compensation plan. Once you started and started doing one type of plan, you can't go from a binary to a unilevel and back to a binary again. You can't do that. You have to stay with what you're doing and when you go from big volume to low volume in a binary plan it can really upset the apple cart so you have to watch out for that binary creep and maybe predict it ahead of time maybe run some scenarios into the future uh, mathematical scenarios and decide oh hey this thing's not going to work out five years from now we better take action now so we don't disappoint our distributors later um, binary creep is so well known among the consultants now that it's something they definitely could could address and if they choose not to it's going to hurt their company down the road for their ignorance of not understanding how that phenomenon works you don't need to understand it but as somebody starting a company definitely does um, fifth thing on the bad list would be regulators um, they don't like the binary plan because it has a tradition of getting shut down and it's not necessary when I looked back and looked at the research it wasn't that the binary plan was getting shut down it was companies that had the binary were getting shut down so everybody thought it was a, you know that was associated with the binary plan and I found in my research that's not really the case it's yeah it, it just so happened that a lot of the plans in the in the 90s were were binary plans that got shut down but it didn't necessarily have to do with the structure. It had more to do with the management team making bad choices or marketing the wrong type of product. So that's kind of my, my take there. All in all, and, and just kind of, you know, I talked a little bit about my feelings on the breakaway. The Unilevel plan, solid, solid plan. Love it. Great plan. Binary plan, I like it too. I, I, it's not my, my absolute number one favorite, <clears throat> but I gave it a, a B rating in my book because I, I feel it's a, it's a good plan. There's a lot of people making a lot of money. A lot of people like to trash the binary. Even founders of companies and top distributors, they trash the binary. They trash it. They trash it, and they say horrible things about it. And, and I'm here to tell you that if you're trashing the binary, you probably don't really understand a binary. You either haven't been involved with one or you were and you didn't really know how to build it right You know, because there are some math, you know, there's some real um, strategy behind it or you were uh, involved as a competitor to the binary your whole career and you just have this this hatred towards it that's not founded on anything and I think that's one of the reasons that we don't get along as as human beings sometimes we have prejudice against certain types of you know, races and religions and and cultures that um, are based on really just not understanding them not having lived with them not having understand what why they do the things they do we we have this bias we have this this bigotry and I, I really feel that that's kind of what people are feeling. So I, I as you know, I, I say some opinions about certain things, but I will definitely say that it's not worth trashing a compensation plan because you feel there's a couple of things you don't like about it. This is a good plan, and it it's here to stay. I mean, it, it's not going anywhere. It's definitely there. Now, mind you, that there's a very small percentage of the companies out there using the the binary plan, but.